Texas, that we would show that we are free, free to choose, free to protect ourselves, free to be in your presence, and that we will be free to praise the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and it's his name we pray. Amen.
I ask that you turn in your Bibles to the Gospel of Matthew, the 11th chapter, from the 28th unto the 30th verse. I say again, Matthew 11, verses 28 through 30. Listen now unto the words of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Praise be unto the Lord our God for these words. Amen. If you would, please bow your heads in prayer. Great Master and Holy Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you as we enter in to this Sabbath day, to this day of rest. We thank you that we have endured the struggles and the trials and the work of the week behind us and pray that on this day of rest we might be restored and renewed to do your work in the week ahead. Help us in this, O Lord, that we might do your will in all things. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.
morning for our sermon, I invite you to take the Word of God out. I invite you to take your Bibles out. I invite you to take the great restore the Spirit out, the great Word of God. Let us go to the Gospel of Matthew. Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Praise be the Lord our God for these words. Amen. We've been heavy laden and burdened for this past year. In this pandemic, loved ones dying, people dying, mask mandates, lockdowns, jobs being closed, jobs lost, stimulus, not stimulus, unable to see our loved ones and our friends and our neighbors, unable to go to the nursing homes, unable to even go visit your loved one when they're sick in the hospital, seeing people die by themselves. It's putting a burden upon our heart. We are heavy laden. We, top, we add on top of this this political and social unrest, this uncertainty about our government and uncertainty about our future. Higher prices. Difficult to get jobs. We are laden down with heavy burdens upon our heart. And Christ is saying, come to me, let all I go. What does it matter? What does matter, we say? We're so wrapped up in our own selfishness, our own little petty dramas, our own little things of this world, but you just don't understand. Oh, Jesus, yes, he does. Oh, yes, he does. He says, I see your sin problem. I see your selfishness problem. I see you wrapped up in yourself that you can't even see the world around you. He says, I died for you for a reason so that you could love each other and that you'd have the promise of eternal life. And one day you'll live in my daddy's house, by the father's house, once, now, and forever. And he's saying, let all these things go that burn you down. Why do we need these dramas? Why do we need these pains? Yes, there has been heartbreak in the past year. People have lost loved ones. Yet many people have lived and survived and thrived. What we do with adversity is how we are judged in life. Do we believe in Jesus Christ no matter what? Do we believe him in our hearts and confess him with our mouths even when the whole world is against us? And say, you can take everything in the world away from me, but you can't take my Jesus. There is something more valuable in all the things of this world. My Jesus the forgiveness of sins that cannot be bought in this world, only that is bought through the sacrifice, the shedding of the blood, the breaking of the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ 2,000 plus years ago on Calvary's tree. That is the price that's been paid for us. And he looks at that and says, look, this is what I've done. Once you love each other as I have loved you, I loved you to death. I gave myself all for you. That is where the words come in that, yes, it is finished. It is done. Jesus gave it all. And he's telling us right here in Matthew, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Learn of me. Not just go, oh, Jesus, no, learn of me. Follow my ways. Do my will. Walk arm in arm with him. For I am meek and lowly in heart. I'm putting others before myself. I'm lifting you up as Christ asks us to lift others up to Christ God the Father in heaven. God is asking us for our forgiveness every single day through his son Jesus. He says, come to me. Just as Jesus says, come to me. For I'm meek and lowly in heart. I am humble and soft-spoken. I am in your presence all day long. And I am lifting each other up. And you'll find rest in two souls. When you're walking arm in arm with Jesus. 
You know you are forgiven. You know you have the promise of eternal life. You know you have what God has provided for you, which is more than enough. God wants you to be happy in His presence, knowing that you are forgiven. It says, let go of all these petty dramas, let go of all these things that hold us back, and get down to the Jesus part of it. Do you love your neighbor? Do you lift each other up? Do you help each other in their time of need? Do you reach out when they're hurting? Do they reach out to you when they're hurt, you're hurting? Do you live as Christ commands us to live? When we do those things, we will find the rest of them to our souls. We will find that break that we've been looking for. Even if it's in the midst of chaos, we will find the rest of them for our souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. As Jesus says, what I am asking you to carry upon your shoulders is light. And the burden I'm asking you to carry on your hands is freedom, forgiveness, eternal life. That we believe in the Father. That he sent the Son to save us. And we are forgiven of our sins in our hearts. And we belong to Jesus. Humble and lowly and meek, and he will lift us all up. That is what Jesus is doing and calling us to to love one another, to be humble about it, to love one another as Jesus loved us, to be in the presence of Christ. I say all this to you in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs>